there is so much inflation around sports and the more you start talking about sports, the more it's about money. Prices, they're going through the roof. I was so unprepared, I only had my fan ID and I booked a ticket literally the day before. So I have to think about where I should sleep and how I'm getting the ticket, looking for it. And then I thought, maybe I just don't. Maybe I just go and actually live my concept because what better way to figure out whether it's a great idea or not, however it will work, let's just do something about it. All those little moments where you start thinking to yourself, I'm, I'm only living this once in my life. You've done this in the World Cup in almost in two shifts. The second shift has been the, the couch surfing shift. Yeah. So how many days have you been here uh, on your couch surfing trip so far? So six nights, six nights, five holes. One night was in the plane. There is not so many occasions you can sleep, so I could just sleep whenever I get the chance. Uh, in a park in Moscow. <laughs> in Gorky Park in Moscow, they have very comfortable bean bags there. I was lucky the weather was nice and I was just out of the fresh, not fresh, but out of the plane uh, with my ticket and I needed to sleep. My uh, experience is not what this is supposed to be. For a regular trip, you would stay at someone for one or two nights, but I'm hoping from one uh, place to the next. What we want to bring is to ensure people have a way to um, get to know the people before they go, uh, because that's very important. That's the feedback I received, the safety. People, they don't want hooligans, they don't want ultras, they want to know where they're setting uh, foot. More than somebody who stays in a hotel and just goes to the stadium, you're actually experiencing the, the you know, Russian hospitality, yeah. real Russian hospitality. How have you found that? Uh, I've had amazing stay experiences and, and so many stories actually. Uh, but the, the most touching one was the uh, host uh, I had in uh, Nizhny Novgorod. When I arrived there, I didn't have too much expectations, but I knew he was young and I knew he was passionate about football. And as I opened the door, uh, his mom, she was welcoming me as if I was an official. And then I thought, I mean, with all the love they're giving me, how can I just say, well, I'm going for the game? You know, you enjoy yourself and, uh, and I'll call you after the game. Knowing that, you know, eventually I would want to uh, go out for a drink and dinner, you know, with people I met. I say, why not include him in my whole day? And I have been saving in accommodation about possibly 800 throughout the trip. So I'm also counting tonight. And I said, I mean, you sometimes spend $200 on something rubbish. This is actually something real. And we found him to you. We've been really like asking everyone, you have tickets, you have tickets, you have tickets. And I found someone with a 400 worth ticket, class one. It was like, I'll sell it for 250. I said, 150. He said, 200. I said, sold. And then I gave it to him. And he was like, seriously, you're giving me the ticket? I said, yeah, yeah, I told you you were, you were going to, to, to come with me, watch the game. So this is your ticket. Thank you very much. And he hugged me. And then we, after the game, he was actually sitting with the French fans. I'm a host. I'm just a host. I'm here. <laughs> he's my host. He's my host. And uh, I've had amazing, uh, uh, warm welcoming with local food, with everything. It's been honestly uh, exceptional. And to pay that back, yeah, I think it's a giving and sharing. The community is given a lot, and we also want to, to share a lot with them. Triggers football, but then you start talking about everything, you go to a bar, you have a party, and you don't even talk football anymore. You might just watch the game that, that is happening during the World Cup, but uh, football is just why you want to uh, spend a moment together.